The Democratic Republic of Congo has very few passable roads, forcing much of the population to rely on poorly maintained airplanes. But the DRC has one of the worst air safety records in the world. Now, to restore the confidence of its passengers and investors, Fly Congo Airlines has introduced a new fleet of planes amid promises to tighten safety procedures. Paul, VOA's Pondiho has more. The International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, says the Democratic Republic of Congo has one of the world's worst records of aviation accidents. The country rates poorly in overall aviation safety. But earlier this month, an airline whose license had been revoked in the wake of a July 2011 crash that killed 74 people resumed operations. Fly Congo, previously known as Hewa Bora, opened a new Kinshasa Kisangani Goma route as part of its effort to revamp and rebrand the airline. Passengers on board one of the relaunched airline's first flights are hopeful safety problems are a thing of the past. Sometimes it's a purely technical problem. I cannot confirm, but I am pretty certain that following past incidents of plane crashes, I think that company bosses will now try to improve the airline's quality because having plane crashes all the time does not help anyone. DRC is Africa's second largest country and one of the most inaccessible countries on the continent. Its dense forests, rivers, and mountainous terrain make ground transportation problematic, leaving aviation as the only option for faster and efficient travel. Experts say aviation oversight, in spite of the periodic government statements following such disasters, has remained pitchy at best. They say none of the promised fundamental overhauls has taken place living in operation flying coffins as the soviet arab trains are often dubbed in congo and other countries in africa both airline and ground infrastructure leave much to be desired in terms of international safety standards i think the current infrastructure at many of the country's airports control towers are inadequate but they are working on it we are closely following that in the news the authorities are working towards improving the infrastructure so that we can have more reliable communication in the long run. United States Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, classifies Congo as non-compliant with standards established by the International Civil Aviation Organization. As a result, Congolese airlines are banned from flying within a U.S. and European airspaces. Since records began in the 1950s, there have been 65 fatal accidents in the DRC, with 878 fatalities. Seven of the incidents took place in the last two years. Goma, where another Hewa Bora crash killed 40 in 2008, was chosen as a site for the launch event, which gathered local politicians and airline officials. Gideon Mangalopa, Goma's airport director, says he hopes customers' confidence will return once the international standards of the airline and the airport are confirmed. We estimate that the plan that we are going to put forward will lead to the airport of Goma being able to once again operate to international standards, to respect the rules and to not believe that we are trying to push or manhandle, but rather we are trying to implement international regulations. To restore confidence and increase the safety of the airline, Fly Congo undertook to destroy six of Hewa Bora's airplanes and replace them with a newer fleet. The aircrafts are being scrapped for parts. At the moment, these are planes that can no longer be used for public transport. So we have to turn to planes that are more economical and which are newer. The airline is planning to open a new international route between Kinshasa and Johannesburg, South Africa, later this year. Paul Ndiho. VOA News.